Leo, batter down the hatches. Lock the fucking door. Pull the goddamn curtain down. Blinds folded. Do like, lock the house. Do not pick up the phone. Because bitch is gonna, just going to try to start trouble. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. You're going to pick up that phone. And the message is on the other side. Is going to start off like this. Hi. Oh my God. We need to talk. We should talk. Don't you think we should talk? We should talk about our feelings. Let's be honest with each other. <laughs> and you're going to just be like. Okay, and s some fucking way, this conversation somehow is going to slip into the realms of how fucked up you are, what a shitty person you are, how you did everything wrong, and it's all your fault. <laughs> and ultimately, you're going to be like, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm serious. I'm I'm dead serious. People, there's some sort of like hidden deception coming. There's some sort of hidden struggle, hidden difficulties, obstacles, like tricky trickery. Trickery being the obstacle between you and making progress. Tricky messages, essentially, like like obstacles and burdens in messages that are kind of like fed to you in a way that are very deceptive, right? It's almost like, I got your back. Everything is cool. I got your, I will say this though. I'm just gonna let you know. Your bros have got your back. Your people are on your side. The people who are really on your side are probably already telling you this shit. They're already saying to you, there's no reason why you need to actually talk to that motherfucker. Because you already know what is going to be. You already know who they are. So what are you expecting to hear? It's a good question. See if you can't answer that before you pick up the phone. Because y'all know it's 2020. And we all got caller ID. We can see who's calling. We know the fucking number. At least we know the goddamn area code. And nobody else calls us from that area code. So it's got to be that person why am I picking up the phone? Why are you picking up the phone? That is the best question here. What exactly, Leo, do you expect to fucking hear? I don't know. Do you expect to hear that they sorry? Do you expect to hear that somehow there's harmony? Do you expect to hear that, you know, I don't know, like it, there's, this is, this is that, that, that mm, in the Achilles heel that you guys are getting big time, you know, that little like shove to the ego, that reminder of, of what trouble it can cause you when you kind of like even believe that things will work out for you even when you know for a fact that they're fucking rotten because that's it's not positivity that's delusion no like like that's just delusional you know it's like yes things will inevitably work out for you absolutely 100 percent. but ultimately that comes from making really good choices and aligning yourself with what is vibrationally correct for you why and what part of you thinks that there's any part of them that is still vibrationally correct? Like it ain't gonna happen. If you pick up that phone, get ready at the very least to laugh and to not take shit seriously and expect where things are gonna happen. I don't know why you would wanna pick up the, I don't know why, I don't know why. Are you amusing yourself? Is it about entertainment? <laughs> I don't know, I don't freaking know. Like, what, what is it? What is the reason to go back into this conversation? Because ultimately, this person is not correct. They don't come correct. They're not there to come correct. They're not there to flatter you. 
They're there to fucking drill into you and you need to prepare for this for yourself. Now, ultimately, see, if these Lenormand cards weren't here, I would think that maybe just maybe that things might be okay. But in other words, this card came out in reverse and I had some inkling because this is these are my, if you buy my extendeds, please buy the extendeds. Um, these are my romance cards, but I needed to, I needed to pull these out for some reason. Like I was like, no, Michelle, you need to, you, there's messages here. <laughs> initial message, excuse me, initial messages for Leo here. So you're not going to get to the heart of anything. This communication is coming through. Yeah. And it's going to be all lovey dovey. And that might be the problem. That really might be the complication is that once again, they saying all this good shit about you, everything that you want to hear, everything sounds like it's wonderful, and you totally missed the point. You didn't even like talk about anything. Like you didn't you didn't get to the heart of anything. You just kind of like avoided everything and just talked about the happy stuff. And you know where that's going to lead you? You know, that's it's just going to lead you back to either fucking or getting fucked, or both. Because ultimately, this person is still this person. And there hasn't been any change. And there's somebody, the ener their energy initially comes off as like, oh, I got your back, I got your back, I'm going to help you through shit, I'm going to help you do shit, I'm going to help, I'm going to help, I want to be there for you, yada, 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 yada. And then it turns into just, they destroy the harmony of your life. But really, who is it destroying the harmony of your life? It's you destroying the harmony of your life. It's you. Because ultimately, it's like, you want the melody, right? You want the melody. You want the high parts. You want, you want the pretty sounds and stuff, right? The easy to remember lyrics. But where's the harmonizing? All of a sudden, it just comes becomes all one blast, one big blast of, she's a Leo. She needs attention. That's what it is. She just needs attention, you know? Um, it just comes, it becomes one big blast of one sound. It's just a bunch of dissonance. And ultimately, it's going to destroy the harmony of your life. You know what you need to do? Lock the fucking door. Spend time with your family. Spend time with the people that you are absolutely sure love you. You know why they love you? You know how you know they love you? Because they tell you the truth. They don't, they don't in any way, shape, or form try to like pull punches or flatter you. They just tell you the truth. Hang out with the people that you're certain of. Be around the people that really, really connect with you and really, really love you. Right? And that's where harmony comes from. That's where the beauty of life comes from. Even if, you know, your social circle is smaller than you wanted it to be, or even if you aren't getting laid that, that afternoon, ultimately, what you have to prioritize is the balance and the harmony that comes with just peace and living in the moment and not letting the past, because Hummingbird is really all about seeing the beauty of the moment, of being here right now in the moment, and ultimately not going back to the past. It's almost like there is going to be this sensation of right here in the moment, something looks so beautiful. It looks so comfortable. It's so familiar. You want to go back to it. I understand. I get it. Let me say this to you. As much as I say, shut the doors, lock the windows, batter the hatches. I will say this. If you fuck up, it's not the end of the world. And I think that that's almost like the major test right now is, can you guys forgive yourself for making an obviously stupid mistake? <laughs> you know, it's that kind of energy where, I mean, it's not, it's not like you're, it's not an intentional mistake, but you know better, you know better, but like a moth to a flame, there's just a sense of sometimes you need one more time. Med meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. It's a new moon in Libra now, right? Coming up tomorrow, the, the day, right, or today, today, because the day that this premieres. Um, this is about comfort. Pisces is about illusion 
and fantasy, you know, almost like for a brief second, maybe needing to be lost in that illusion and fantasy for a little bit more. Because there's something about it, about it that's healing for you. Right? Maybe just reality is a little bit too bullshit right now. Luck is on your side. It strikes a target. So ultimately, you're going to be able to move on from this. You're going to be able to pass through this. Um, spiritually, what what would be heightened? I don't know. To like meditate and con I don't know. You know, I don't know. Because seeing all the cards, it's almost like you need to fuck up. It's almost inevitable. Like fate has decided that Leo, you're supposed to fuck up. Like, it's almost like in some ways it's challenging you to make yourself look bad. So that it's like you're, what, what's really challenged is your relationship with your own ego and your own like superficial persona. And in some ways, you almost want to bring that down. You want to challenge the persona you've created. That's really what you're doing by hooking up with this person or making this mistake that you should have known better. Let's get into the main reading. Oh, yeah. I think that at, at least in the beginning, you think, I got this. I got this under control. I can, I can handle this situation. I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, Leo. <laughs> I, I'm not as confident. See, this is not being able to see the other person's side of the story. This is going in deep when you were supposed to say shallow. You were supposed to say playful. This is almost kind of like a warning. Or, because it came out in the past. So, this could have been a circumstance where you got in over your head. You went deep when you wanted to stay playful. You wanted it to be fun and it didn't. It got too much. It got overburdened. It's like that one night hookup that was supposed to be so hot after the club. But ultimately, turned like somebody just kept clinging, turned into something more. It kind of spiraled out of control. It became heavier and deeper than you wanted it. This is the situation from the past that I'm describing. So I'm sure that you know who it is. Um, hold on. A lot of shit came out all at once. Um, like a moth to a flame. You're not going to be able to resist this. You're just going to head right headlong into it. Trying to avoid it. Maybe trying to avoid feelings. Trying to avoid hidden feelings. Almost like you know that they feel something that you don't feel. Um, or maybe you know that you feel something that they don't feel and you're trying to avoid stirring up those feelings. You just don't want to go back there. But to no avail, time wasted, efforts wasted, because ultimately you're going to land head first, diving right into that trash heap. I mean... It is what it is. Watch your words. There's a lot of Gemini energy on the table. I don't know what kind of Gemini or what Gemini you're dealing with or if you're dealing with a Gemini at all. It could just be Gemini North Node as in challenging that North Node energy. North, North Node energy challenging the weakest parts of you to make you stronger. You understand? So it's like this is Gemini energy. Um, but it's like watch your words. Watch what you say. And like, like, hold on. It's almost like someone just saying what you want them to say, what you want to hear. Like, Polly got a cracker, Polly want to, like that parroting, saying what you just heard someone say, not really showing what you really feel or demonstrating a mind of your own, but somebody just saying what you just said. And ultimately you think, oh, this person's so awesome because they always agree with me. No, they ain't got no mind of their own. They got no fucking words of their own. They got no originality of their own. Ultimately, as bright as you burn, they're really just there to like tap your energy. And you know what, Leo? Maybe that's the kind of people you like to have around you. I don't know. I can't imagine why anybody would want that around them. But if you like people who are dependent upon you, 
you know, upon the light that you shine on them, then maybe that's how you pick your people. I don't know. Magic works through you. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're the one with the power. You're the one with the specialness. And ultimately, maybe it's you that's casting the spell on this person and creating the disharmony because you want the effect. And you want the attention and you want the something to do right now. Like maybe this is like that. Let's just make me feel, make me feel anything at all. Just somebody make me feel I'm tired of being stuck. I'm tired of feeling ignored. I'm tired. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being bored. Make me alive. You know what I'm saying? You know a song? Somebody sit on my chair. Um, somebody sit in my chair and make me aware of being alive, being alive, being alive. It's that. It's like almost like somebody come here and cause trouble in my life, please, please. Because there's almost like there's too much flatness right now. I can't take it. I can't stand it. Maybe that's what you want, right? You're doing it. You're orchestrating it. You're kind of like whittling this energy yourself. Is almost part of your strategy to sort of you're the one being manipulative. Maybe you're the one dragging people in, um, picking the fight, causing the argument, causing the problems. Maybe that's what you're doing. Ultimately, this is an energy that you're dealing with right now. It's either you or them that's doing it, but they're dragging you in. It's strategic. It's intentional to net you into whatever game that they want to play or whatever game that you, whatever, whatever game is being set. There's a trap being set to get you into this game. Overcome any obstacle by clearing out the clutter. What? Hello. What did I say? You got to get rid of this bullshit. Whatever this obstacle is, this is Taurus energy, which is Taurus, opposite energy. Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus right now. So in other words, expansion, rebellion, doing things that aren't normal, it's challenging you. It's almost like, it's like, it's almost like you feel like you've gotten too mundane. You've gotten too humdrum or whatever you've created is too ordinary or not being appreciated or seen because it kind of like. It's almost like you feel like you 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 are fitting in or you're you're blending in and it's exactly what you don't want. But if you don't want it, you know what you got to do? You got to get rid of the fucking people who don't challenge you. You got to get rid of the people who are just there to blend in with you and don't have any ideas of their own. You got to you got to allow yourself to be around somebody who isn't a goddamn follower. Like, that's what you have to do if you want challenge in your life and you want pe real people in your life. Right now, it seems like you're attracting followers. And ultimately, you're almost ensnared in your own net of wanting people who will agree with you or say what you want to hear. What is the challenge in, in that? that? That is what inevitably ends up being boring and humdrum and status quo and uninspiring. And that's what you gotta let go of. It's like clearing out all those people who are just kind of like, just there to say what you want them to say, kinda. This is Cancerian energy, it's transformative. It's moving on to a more mature state of yourself where you don't, you're not so dependent upon emotions or being reactionary. This is Taurus energy. This could be a Taurus in your life helping you to overcome or figure out what shit you got to get rid of and what shit you don't. But it's definitely like the challenge or the light is coming from this Taurus energy. It's helping you figure out what it is that you got to get let go of, what it is that, that you have to get out of your way, because it, it's they're, they're the ones making it clear. This is the energy making it clear of what's just not effectual anymore. I hope that I have at least amused you.
this is weird energy. Over, no, well, it's not really weird energy over here. It's it's literally surrender now, refusing to surrender, refusing to go in, get, uh, refusing to look at your real feelings and look at yourself. Your your shadow side, your moon side, your shadow. Right, the moon is like the things that you fear. Those those feelings that maybe you haven't that haven't come to the surface yet. You're trying to avoid those things. It's not going to work. Upside down, like uh, upside up, up, right side up. This is like the treasure in a trash heap. This is just getting stuck in the trash heap. And maybe that's what you consider your emotions. Maybe you'll throw, you want to throw your emotions to the side. But ultimately, no good. Bad practice. Trying to avoid crashing and burning into whatever crazy situation this person is trying to suck you into. Are you going to be able to? Maybe not. You are a star after all, right? Maybe not. Maybe you just, maybe this is part of the unavoidable cycle of your life where A, there's going to be burnout and B, there's just going to be clingers on. But ultimately you are going to have to like at one point just, is let's put it this way. It's almost like these mistakes or whatever accidents or crashes you have with these, these people that shouldn't be in your life anymore. This is going to make it painfully clear that it's over and it's finished and they, they just can't come anywhere near you anymore. You're not even going to be tempted to keep their number in your phone after this shit. So maybe crash and burn and letting it happen is exactly what you need. Yes, there is an extended. Please do go and consult it. It's in the, it's in the link below. Um, full tarot spread, right? But also stay, stay with me for a little while longer. I want to read the uh, angel messages because they have a voice of their own and it's a lot less shrill than mine. Archangel Uriel. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. Now, I know that you felt that. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. Okay. Healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time, and I will love you for all eternity. So maybe it's just this deep connection, wanting to feel a deep connection to someone again. And needing to be reminded or, or, or connect somehow to somebody that, just connect to somebody spiritually. It's a connection that you're looking for. Divine mystery. You, along with the sun, earth, and moon, and stars are part of one creation. A divine mystery unfolding each moment. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonder of it all. And you got this before, Hummingbird. Be in the power of now. Let's read Hummingbird. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. But remember, my lovely Leo, in order to spread happiness, you have to be actually feeling it. Or else all you're radiating is radiation. And that doesn't make anybody happy. <clears throat> But we also got this card, Sea Otter, Happiness. So both of this, these cards are about happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. 
That last line was really wonky. It was not proper English. Weird. But ultimately, this is, I think, to escape, the, not escape, but basically make it through this wonkiness is literally asking you just one second at a time. One step at a time, one second at a time, one day at a time. That's it. Don't expect anything. If that ex calls and you do pick up the phone, no expectations. No ex expectations. Vision. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. Oh my God. Okay. Wisdom. There's this little bug flying around and it's irritating the crap out of me. I'm sorry about that. Wisdom. Everything has a place and a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance, and compassion for all things. All right. Well, there you go. See, this, the angels have basically taken this in a totally different direction. I want to clarify with tarot, but I always say prioritize the angel messages over mine because I'm mostly entertainment. Uh, no, ultimately, I do I do believe this is, a, this is an opportunity to heal, you know, but you got to feel it to heal it. Um, you don't necessarily have to be harassed or sleep with an ex to feel it. But if you do, you do. And maybe that's just something that you have to go through. Let's see. Click the link below and join me for tarot. I'll see you guys over there.